Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the world of centralized log management with Greylog. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of installing Greylog on Ubuntu 22.04. So, let's get started. Greylog is an open-source log management platform that helps organizations to collect, index, and analyze large volumes of log data from various sources in real time. It offers a centralized solution for monitoring, troubleshooting, and securing systems, applications, and networks by providing powerful search capabilities, visualization tools, and alerting mechanisms. Overall, Greylog helps organizations to gain visibility into their IT infrastructure, detect issues and anomalies, troubleshoot problems more effectively, and improve overall system performance and security. Type in sudo apt update and hit enter. This will update the package lists for upgrades and new package installations. Next, we'll upgrade any installed packages to their latest versions. Type in sudo apt upgrade and hit enter. With our system up to date, now let's move on to installing the prerequisites for Greylog. These packages are necessary for Greylog to function properly. Next install the Mongo database server. In the Greylog server, the MongoDB database stores configuration information and user data. Start by importing the MongoDB 6.0 GPG key to your system and add the MongoDB 6.0 repository on the system. Inform the system about your newly added repository by executing the system update command. Use this command to download and install MongoDB from Ubuntu's base repository. Enable and start the database server services by running these commands. To verify its proper functioning or status, you can run this command. Press the letter Q to exit. Next in our setup for Greylog, we'll install Elasticsearch. We're opting for the Elasticsearch community version, known for its robust full-text search and analytics capability. Given Greylog's capability to manage logs from diverse sources, it necessitates a highly scalable platform that enables swift storage, search, and analysis of substantial data volumes, nearly in real time. Run this command to install Elasticsearch but before you run the command run the sudo apt update command to include the Elasticsearch repository you just added. Modify the Elasticsearch configuration file by running this command.
activate and initiate the Elasticsearch service by running these commands. To check the Elasticsearch service status run this command. Now, let's download the Greylog repository and its GPG key. Type in the following to download the repository package. Now install Greylog by running this command. After installing the Greylog server, it's crucial to generate a secret key to safeguard user passwords and an encrypted password for the admin user. To create a secret password for securing user passwords, execute the following command. The terminal will display the encrypted password, consisting of alphanumeric characters. Now open the Greylog configuration file. Update the password secret with the encrypted password generated. The default username to access the Greylog web interface is admin, but you'll need to set the password. Generate a hash for your desired password using the following command.
By default, Greylog is only accessible using the local host IP, which is 127.0.0.1. If you intend to access its web interface remotely, you'll need to replace this with your server's IP address in the configuration file. Greylog is now configured and ready for use. Enable and restart the Greylog server by running these commands. And there you have it. Greylog is now successfully installed and running on your Ubuntu 22.04 system. You can now access the Greylog web interface through your browser and start managing your logs centrally before you access it. Enable ports on the firewall. Use the username admin and the root password you set up earlier. Congratulations, you've successfully installed Greylog on Ubuntu 22.04. Feel free to explore its features and start centralizing your logs for better management and analysis. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.